joining me. Today's do-it-yourself video is going to be about a unique party favor. Most of you moms out there have done just about every type of party favor there is to do. And this one is going to be a very unique party favor that your guests will actually keep and they won't throw away. Mostly, you know, kids come home, they get the traditional party bag and within a day everything in it is probably half in the garbage. But these party favors are unique, they're different, they are personalized for each one of your party guests. And the kids love decorating them, they're so much fun, they're so easy, gives the kids a little bit of an extra something to do while they're at the party, a little craft, and uh, then they take it home. And they actually keep it. today are, first of all, you'll have your Styroscript names, which are the names of each one of your guests this time. Usually it's your guest of honor, but this time for the party favors, it's the name of each one of the children that attends your party. Each one of these also comes with a base. So we'll be painting our base, we'll be painting and glittering our names, and we have our different color glitter here, uh, two different colors today. We have our craft paint, we have our Elmer's school glue, and then we'll use these little um, spongy brushes. You know, you get these at the craft store, these little spongy things. These are easy for the kids to use, and that's what we'll use today for um, decorating. So the first thing we'll do is we'll actually going to paint our base. So I'm going to take a little bit of this craft glue and I actually have a little palette here that I am going to pour my craft glue on. And I'm going to just take my little paintbrush here and take a little bit of my craft glue. This is acrylic craft paint. I got it at the um, craft store locally here in town. And then I'm just going to paint it onto my Styroscript base. This is easy for the kids to do. It takes up some time at your party. And I'm just going to go ahead and do this real quick so that I don't take up too much time on this video. So let me go ahead and paint this and I'll be right back. Sometimes what I do when the kids are painting these is I take a little wooden skewer and I push it up through the bottom of the name so that the kids can hold on to the stick while they're painting. Sometimes it just helps so that it, uh, so they don't get the paint on their fingers. Now you can have them just paint the front of their name or if they want to get creative they can also paint the top and paint the back of it. But as you can see this goes pretty quickly and we're just going to paint it up here, make it look real pretty. I'm not going to paint the back and the top and the sides and it will just be too time consuming right now on this video. but. For demonstration purposes, there's how Laura looks when she's all painted up with our craft uh, acrylic paint. Our next step would be to uh, glitter the um, our Laura. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to make it really easy for the kids with when it comes to glittering. And I'm just going to pour the glitter into this uh, little one inch foil pan. And it makes it super easy for kids to glitter um, one color. So we're just going to go ahead and pour some of this glitter right into here. And then I'm just going to shake it around a little bit. And then I'm, while it's wet, while Laura's name is wet, I'm actually going to take Laura's name and I'm going to place it right into this glitter and voila! Look how cool that is! Do you think these kids
kids aren't going to keep these? They're awesome. Once you have um, your guest's name all glittered and your base painted, the next thing that you'll want to do is just attach the guest's name to the base. Now what you can do is you can take some of your Elmer's glue um, uh, and you can just put it right down the middle here. But you must make sure it dries before the kids uh, take them home because you want this to be secured to the base. You want their name to be secured to the base. If it's not secured, it's time to go home. Sometimes what I do is I just take a little straight pin and I will actually push the straight pin down through the name to the base. So I just took that little straight pin and that just helps secure it. And I'll take another little straight pin and I'm going to actually attach it to the back and just push push it through the L in Laura. So I just took two of these little straight pins and I pushed one through the back of the A, one through the L, and then it helps it so that it stays secure until your paint dries. Just uh, tell your parents that you've put those pins in there to help it dry. Maybe the parents want to take it out when they get home. But this is a great, unique party favor. Kids love making them. They're so easy. They're very creative. And um, it, they're going to be a big hit at your party. I'm just going to make one more quick, um, one more of these favors real quick so that you can see this done again. And I'm just going to use a different color this time. I'm going to use a gold craft glue and our guest's name this time, and we'll do this while Laura dries here, is Mark. So I'm just going to paint up Mark's base real quick and I'll be right back. I'm just going to paint this base up and um, then I will do the glitter process with you uh, in a minute. I'm back and it's time to glitter Mark's name. So this time I'm going to take this multicolored cool glitter. I'm just going to pour some here into my one inch pan. Shake it around. And then I'm going to take Mark's name, which has been um, painted. And then I'm just going to swish it around here in the glitter. And... Voila! Check that out. Is that cool or what? How quick, how fun for kids to do. Then all you're going to do is take it, secure it to your base by using your Elmer's white glue. And then, like I said, you can just take maybe a straight pin or two and push those down into your base so that it dries. Just put that pin in there until it dries. Make sure you tell the parents that you have placed a straight pin in there so that they remove it once it's dry. The only reason I put those in there right now is just because when the kids are taking them home and if the uh, Elmer's glue or the white glue that you've used is not dry yet, um, your guest of honor, uh, excuse me, your guest name is secured to the base. But these are cool. Everyone is going to want one, okay? You'll be the hit of town when you use these unique party favors from Script. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope you enjoyed making this unique party favor. And honestly, I really hope that you guys try this out with your uh, guests at your next party as your craft of choice. So for today, thanks for joining Jersey Girls and Script, and we'll see you next time.